So petrol price is coming down Wednesday, so don't go fill your tank because um, if you drive like a Toyota Hilux, um, you'll save 84 bucks at the pump on Wednesday. Um, that's on a 80 liter tank. It's coming down by, they predict just a little bit more than a rand, all right? So it's come down, what, three times in the past three months, which is good. I think it's about two rand 50 it's come down on, which is fantastic. And um, here's a interesting question that's coming from Denise. She says, hey guys, good morning. Can you please ask the question of retailers when are the food prices coming down? No. After all, petrol has dropped significantly and we haven't had load shedding for three months. So all those price increases need to be decreased now. Food prices are ridiculous. Mm. You're absolutely right. We always hear oh, food inflation and all this because of mm. petrol, because of load shedding, because of all this stuff, of which none, of, none has happened in the past three months. Mm. And they say that the, with, with the inflation, that there's usually a lag of three months from the time when the petrol comes down and all that, then it will take three months before you see the price difference on your shelves. There's been wars and that was a reason at one stage and Russia, Ukraine, maize and wheat and all that sort of stuff. But nothing has ever come down. It's like 50% increase. And there's no reprieve. There's no like easing the pocket. I remember trying to shop at different places to get you know good deals you go from this shop to that shop just to manage your basket yeah it's everywhere now everywhere mm. is pricey there is no cheaper deal here cheaper deal there nah, trying nah. to figure out your grocery bill at the month sure the but month. your mother would be so proud i know yeah. i never yeah. thought you i'd tried. be this person yeah i did try i yeah, did but try inflation is what sitting at six percent <sighs> mm. Prices, food prices is up like fifty percent. No, it's ridiculous. And and when does it come down? Yes. When? 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 It's like remember with um, the flights. Oh, mm. there was a COVID and fuel and all this sort of stuff, mm. and the price of flights shot through the roof. Yeah. That's never ever come down again. Mm -hmm. We do not have low cost airlines in no, this country. No. Let's be honest. Absolutely right. Nothing has ever come down again. Mm. It's like, okay, they're happy to pay this rate now, so let's just keep it as that. So what is it? Is this anything other than good old-fashioned corporate price gouging? Is that what it is? Does anybody have any answers? Anybody? Because it's now cheaper to eat out than it is to eat at home. Mm -hmm. And you especially know this, Sips, when you've got to cook for one. Yes. It's, there was a lot of food wastage for me because I thought oh let me stop eating out so often yeah. but also because of how I want to shop I'm like oh there's a good deal let me buy three of this thing because it's cheaper mm. than buying one of that thing yeah yeah but actually in the long run it's not Leanne clearly loves Pringles she says I mean Pringles are 70 <laughs> rand a can <laughs> sure is are we in a potato famine again from the old days so what is it you've weighed in with your thoughts I'm the owner of a retail shop and yes, it's actually not the retailers, it's the manufacturers of the product because you must also remember retailers carry stock for quite a few weeks or sometimes a month or two depending on how fast the product moved. But we haven't seen reductions from our suppliers where we purchase from. I think there's too much money locked up in cryptocurrency and people holding on for dear life which has caused a a problem uh, of liquidity in the market. And there's growing movement around the world and in South Africa of people trying to become more self-sufficient when it comes to their food. Whatever that means for them. You can, if you have a big garden, you can grow your own veggies. If you just have a little patio, you can grow your own herbs, maybe a garlic or a ginger. And then the big companies who have a monopoly on food right now are going to realize it's not going to last something's happening so they're either going to fold or they're going to start charging consumers reasonable prices because we're starting to become more clever what is it yeah. what is it sometimes you have those options and sometimes you do not hey let me tell you i've tried growing my own tomatoes yeah. they were horrific mm. i've tried growing potatoes how do you mess up the tomatoes oh. though what they come out like like tiny little horrible things I wouldn't eat them. I wouldn't trust them. But and, and, and I was actually growing tomatoes by accident. 
Because I think someone chucked a tomato in the I've also grown tomatoes by accident, yeah. They're the only, like, fruit, vegetable yes. mm -hmm. that you seem to grow by accident. How come there's always, you look in your yard and there's a palm tree and there's a flipping tomato tree as well? And then you try to do it yourself. You try to recreate that mm -hmm. yeah. mistake. And then I always and think... And it doesn't come out the way that it used to. But and that's then I, the thing about growing things in your own garden. They're not going to be as pretty no. as the ones in the shop, but they tend to be more delicious if you ask me. I don't know. I was skeptical about putting those tomatoes in the salad. My wife wanted to. I'm like, but I don't know how this tree got here. I don't know if some oak, like, was eating a tomato and then he spat <laughs> the pips out. And that's, oh, no. we've got this guy's spit on these tomatoes. Oh, organic. Maybe the spit is that yeah, magic yeah, sauce. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah, I don't know how they get there. From farm to table, they say. I don't know how they get there. Yeah. But I've never trusted my <laughs> own tomatoes at home. Not the pip from a stranger's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually Ch a beautiful story. It is, it is actually. <laughs> and, and, and there's a tomato tree.